Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, this week marks the one year of living on the Chins lithium iron phosphate batteries and all of the uh, support devices tied into that to make the solar work. And what is all that blue up there? Uh, today we've got a beautiful uh, sunny day, great solar day. And I mean, I haven't seen that in weeks. So today's good. So we'll get right into it. Anyway, this, those two panels there, I got another little project going. I'll show you guys later, but I'll show you what's feeding that uh, 600 amp hour bank with the Chins battery. Wow, blue sky. And real sunshine, oh my goodness. Wonderful. Almost fell over. Well, those of you that have been following the channel know that uh, the system I'm talking about is fed by 1000 watt solar. Got two 500 watt strings, a top string and a bottom string, each running off of their own charge controller, the EP Ever 40 amp controller. Uh, we're catching great sun today, going to get to probably a full charge. I'll go in and show you the system and go over all the components and tell you how everything's been working for me. The panels, of course, have been perfect when the sun shines. So here's the real stars of the, the system, as in any system, and that's your battery bank. And right here we have two of those Chins 12 volt. 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. They are tied in parallel for a 600 amp hour bank. Uh, have been running them 24 seven since their arrival. And in, in, in this configuration, been running it for many months now, have it built up to where it's running everything in the house perfectly. Uh, have had zero issues with the chins, I mean zero. They just work flawlessly. They hold a serious charge. I pretty much cycle them in my daily use uh, over uh, the past year, I would say uh, about 40% to 80% is pretty much my cycle range, day in and day out. I'm not using, but about the top 20% usually. But uh, over the months, if I average it out, I'm not dropping below 40% ever and averaging getting up to 80%. Of course, a lot of days 90, 100. So those two strings of uh, panels, uh, each string is 500 watts. Each one comes into its own EP ever 40 amp charge controller. They are hooked up to a uh, battery isolator, Got a 50 amp fuse. The inverter is that reliable 12 volt, 3000 watt. I've had zero problems with that as well. In fact, everything in this system has worked flawlessly. The only problem I ever had was from uh, my own operator error when I shorted the system out. I've got a video on that if you haven't seen it. But everything in here has worked absolutely perfectly. Uh, also have the Victron Blue Smart Charger for those dark, dark days or dark, dark weeks where I have to have a little boost into the system. Haven't had to use that a lot in the past few weeks. I've had to use it a few times just to keep the batteries running in the range that I like them. Kill switch. And I wanna get to the part Oh, a little point out, fuse, fuse, couple of bus bars. This is, this is the entire system. But the one thing that has been really good is this uh, shunt battery monitor on that Ali'i battery monitor. That's this right here. Uh, shows you what we're doing today. 86.1% full and charging. Great day. Even if I wasn't to see the sun anymore, this is a great charge. I'm happy with it, keeps everything running. But I have to say that this particular thing has probably been the most uh, uh, usable, 
and uh, re reliable thing that just at a glance I can always come back in here into the battery uh, shed and take a peek and I know exactly what the state of my battery is. It's very accurate. It works well. It was only about like 40 bucks when I bought it. Might be about $44 now, but that for just walking back here and just at a glance. Of course, I go in and look at these uh, EP Evers quite a bit too. Uh, they've worked uh, well, although a lot of you know, as I've been uh, finessing this system along the way, I've had to drop the bulk down to uh, 14.2 now, which is uh, what the Victron chargers have as their profile. And I started a little higher on this, kept getting alarms. And so far at 14.2, no alarms. I did have it down to 14.3. And I was still able to get an alarm during those, uh, you know, after the clouds roll in, cover everything up, come back out, and then everything shoots up, shoot up fast enough. This thing still doesn't seem to be fast enough to catch it, but it's all about just setting it at the right level. And I think I've got that pretty well done now. I don't think I'm going to have to drop it any more. If I do, that's okay too, but uh, they work well. They really do. Uh, I like the Victron profile better now and, and uh, how much faster it seems to be. So, But I can't complain about these charge controllers. They're doing their job. Absolutely. So just wanted to say that I was real excited to get these batteries after a year. Uh, they're just doing so good. I just uh, couldn't be happier. Uh, if you've been watching this channel, you know I'm uh, setting up a, many other brands of lithium iron phosphate and to date everything that I have looked at and reviewed on this channel is still working perfectly. Uh, I will continue to maybe show a, you know, a, a two-year review on this, or what, but in the meantime, if anything ever happens with any of this system that's not working right, I will let you know. Other than that, you can just assume that they are just plugging right along. One year. Man, it flew by. I thank all of you that have helped me along the way, and I hope that you have all learned something that might help you in your system. Lithium. Man, it's really a game changer on solar. And back to where we started. Loving the sunshine today. Hope all of your systems are working well. You're getting the right weather. Absolutely loving this. Bringing the lithium up to a full charge today. All right, everybody. One year, no problems. Other than my own error. The system is working good, the batteries, everything's working great. So happy I went back to, or went to lithium. Yeah. Loving it. Aloha.